Here we have some problems where we're multiplying decimals by powers of 10. 10, 100, 1,000, etc. And there are some quick and easy shortcuts that'll help you out with these. Basically, multiplying by 10 is the same as moving the decimal point one place that way. So, for example, if you have 0.4 times 10, you would move this decimal point one spot, and that would become 4. If you want to test that on your calculator, type in 0.4 times 10, you'll see it equals 4. So, in this problem up here, we're actually multiplying fractions, but that's not too hard. We know we just need to multiply across the top and multiply across the bottom. And since it's, we're multiplying 0.4 times 10, we've already got that answer. That's going to equal 4. And then 0.2 times 10, again, we'll just move the decimal point one place that way. That's 2. Well, we can simplify that. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So, 4 tenths divided by 2 tenths times 10 over 10 is 2. Let's take a look at another one. It says mentally calculate the product. Now when you multiply by 100, you're moving the decimal place 2 in that direction. So if you want to mentally calculate this product, all you have to do is go 1, 2, and there's our new decimal point, and we've got 5.4. Piece of cake. Last one. Mentally calculate the product. It's times 100, so we're going to move the decimal place 2 points. If it was 1,000, you'd move it 3. 10, you only move it 1. Here we've got 100, so we're going to move it 2. So 1, 2, and we get 615. So that's how to multiply decimals by powers of 10.